Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Raw Motive. So what is the best looking Toyota Tacoma that I've ever had? You know, I've had eight of them, I think, something like that now. Current one, of course, is the electric lime metallic, which I really do like. I think it's a really good looking truck, but it's not the best looking Tacoma that I've ever had. And what do you need to do to get the best looking Tacoma that you can have? Well, first of all, let me state, there it really comes down to two for me as far as looks go. The Barcelona Red Tacoma that I had, it was a 2018 uh, TRD Sport. Really love that truck. I think it is a, a runner up, a close runner up. But the best looking Toyota Tacoma that I've ever had was my 2020 Voodoo Blue. That truck was a manual transmission I believe it was a TRD off-road. I've had so many, I forget. Not that it really matters, because one of the things that I suggest you do to come up with the best-looking Toyota Tacoma would leave it unknown. That truck was awesome. I love that color, particularly when it was clean, which was pretty often. I think I tended to keep that truck a little bit cleaner uh, just because it looked so good when it was. And I hate washing vehicles. But how do you get the best looking Toyota Tacoma? The best looking Tacoma for you, for what you have? Well, there's really four things, I think. Number one is to debadge it. Get rid of all those letters and words from Toyota all over it. I mean, you know what it is. You don't need to advertise it for Toyota. It's just such a smoother look without all those badges sticking out. You know, Tacoma, Toyota, that sticker across the back and that's why I mentioned that my 2020 Voodoo Blue was kind of unknown because I did remove all of the badging and I did get rid of that TRD off-road sticker on the back. I mean stickers? I'm not a big sticker fan on paint. Of course I know I have the channel name. I've got stickers in my rear view window. I know that but that's more of an advertising thing for me. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. I just go with completely clean. I think it's just a much better look for the truck. Next up, and we're working our way up here, window tent. Window tent really does transform any vehicle, particularly the Tacoma. Now, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go illegal. You know, I ran into a wall recently, not with my truck, with my Jeep Gladiator, and then we have to have our vehicles inspected here until 2025 they're getting rid of it and i got tagged i was told that my window tent was too dark and it was just the front two windows so i had to remove it or they wouldn't pass my vehicle i couldn't get my registration and then i couldn't drive it what a bummer that was so you don't have to go illegal you can still stay illegal and have a nice looking tent on the truck that's going to match up pretty much with everything else and look really good Next, wheels and tires. You know, wheels and tires make a huge difference. And you can go with all kinds of different things. You can go blacked out, you can go chrome if that's your thing, not really mine, or you can go with a color. You know, on uh, my last truck, the magnetic gray metallic, I went with a bronze wheel. And I really did like that. And I was really hesitant at first, you know, to go with a color, uh, it's a pretty bold move. And if you get it wrong, it may not look very good. You know, recently, and I think it was a live stream I did, I saw a truck, I think it actually was like a Suburban or something, I don't know. But they, it was black and they had like a fluorescent green theme. They had green lettering, they left the letters on and made them green. And then they had green wheels. Not my taste, I think it kind of clashed. And it's not that you can't do green with black. I mean, they could have had they not gone with that fluorescent color. It just, it just didn't look good to me on the truck. But nonetheless, you can go with many different styles. Obviously, you need to go with what you like. I'm assuming the person that owned that black SUV really did like that green theme. So hey, more power to them, you know? Uniqueness is part of the fun of doing modifications to any vehicle, be it the Tacoma or anything else. Now, lastly, the lift. 
you know, nothing looks better than a, a lifted truck. Before I get into that, let's go back to one more thing on the wheels and tires. Of course, a meaty tire, something that looks aggressive, and wheel poke. For me, having the tires poke out just a little bit from the wheel well, just, again, gives you a more aggressive look, and it really looks good on the Toyota Tacoma. Again, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to bring them out four inches so that you're throwing junk all over everybody. In some states, it's not legal to do that anyway, but just another good look for the truck. Back to the lift. You know, currently in this truck, I don't have a lift. All I have is bigger tires but I want a lift. The longer I have this truck, and if I was to keep it, my plan, of course, is to trade off for the 2024 someday. I don't think that's gonna be possible until probably mid-2024, uh, if I'm lucky, because I want the hybrid version. I want the full Monty. That truck, I will lift. I think, minimum, you've gotta go with a three-inch leveling lift, something like that. Three inches up in the air, whatever it takes in the back to level it off. If you didn't know, the Toyota Tacoma is raked and points down in the front. You don't wanna go crazy the other way though. You know, I had on that blue Tacoma, the only thing that I didn't like about the Voodoo Blue was that I had a bit of a, a point in the front. It kinda looked like I was taken off a little bit. Not bad if you're like a desert racer or something, but not really what I wanted. Truck still looked excellent. I still think it's the best looking Toyota Tacoma that I've ever had, but I would have preferred it would have had a more level ride. Anyway, above that, I think is great too. You don't wanna go nuts. I mean, you don't really want a 12 inch lift or something, unless you go really wide on your wheel offset. But then you start to look a little funky and that starts to take away a lot from the usability of the truck, the comfort of the truck. You're gonna need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to attain that. You know, you can get a good three inch lift for somewhere under $5,000 if you do it the way that you should. Change everything that you need to change so that you don't have any issues. On that Voodoo Blue that I had, I had actually blown a, uh, an axle boot a CV axle boot, that was a drag. I didn't discover it until I had traded it off actually. But uh, that's just one of the risks that you run by having a bad angle on that CV axle, you know? That was kind of a drag. So those really are the four things, in my opinion, that you need to do to have the best looking Toyota Tacoma for what you may have. And of course, color and all that, that's personal preference, depends on what you like, but nonetheless, all these things will make your Toyota Tacoma the best ever for you. Leave a comment. Let me know if you agree or if I've left anything off. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.